Europe's river run dry as scientists warn drought could be worse in 500 years. In place, the lorry can now be crossed on foot. France's longest river has never flowed so slowly. The Rhine is fast becoming impassable to barge traffic. In Italy, the Po is two meters lower than normal. Crippling crops. Serbia is stretched the Danube. Across Europe, drought is reducing one mighty river to trickle, with potential dramatic consequences for industry, freight, energy, and food production. Just as supply shortage and price rise due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine's bite, driven by climate breakdown, an unusual dry winter and spring. Follow by the record-breaking summer temperatures and repeat heat wave after have left Europe essential waterway under replenishment and increasingly overheated, with no significant rainfall recorded for almost two months across Western, Central, and Southern Europe, and none forecast in the near future. Meteorologists say the drought could become the continent's worst in more than five hundred years. We haven't analyzed fully this year's event because it's still going on," says Andre Torito, of the European Commission's Joint Research Center. There were no other events in the past five hundred years similar to the droughts of twenty eighteen, but this year I think it's worse. He said there was a very high risk of dry condition continuing over the next three months, adding that. Without effective mitigation, droughts intensity and frequency would increase dramatically over Europe, both in the north and in the south. Germany's Federal Institutes of Hydrology said the level of the Rhine, whose waters are used for freight transport, irrigation, manufacturing, power generation, and drinking, will continue dropping until at least the beginning of next week. On Friday, the water at the critical crab marker, fifty kilometer downstream from Mainz, which measures navigabilities rather than water depth, fell below forty centimeters, the level at which many shipping firms consider it is no longer economically for badge to operate. It could fall to the nearer thirty centimeters over the next few day, the BFG has said. Many barge, which carry coals for power plants and vital raw materials for industrial giants such as steel maker Thyssen's and chemical giant BASF, are already operating at about twenty-five percent capacity to reduce their draft, raising shipping costs up to fivefold. Even Norway, which relies on hydro power for about ninety percent of its electricity generation, has said the unusually low level of its reservoir may ultimately oblige it to limit power export. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.